In this video, we will be learning about rotation and how to use it in geometry. We will learn this in the context of a problem from RMO 2003. This is problem number one. It's a problem from a math olympiad in India. To get started, let me tell you what the problem says. We have a triangle, an isosceles right angle triangle. Angle A is 90 degree and AB is equal to AC. This is given. Now you choose two points M and N on the hypotenuse such that BM square plus CN square is equals to MN square. All this is given data. Now we want to show that MAN is also 45 degree. This angle MAN is 45 degree. That's our goal. Okay. Now how do we go about doing this? Of course, if you look at this particular expression, it immediately reminds you of Pythagoras theorem. So, if we can somehow get BM and CN adjacent to each other, if we can do that, then perhaps we can use Pythagoras theorem to get some sort of a structure. That's the motivation. So, I'll write that. The motivation behind rotation would be to get BM and CN adjacent and apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So, let's do that. Let's rotate ABC, this triangle, about the point A by 90 degree in the clockwise direction. So what happens to AB? Well, AB, if you rotate by 90 degree, falls exactly on AC. AB falls on AC because AB is equal to AC. So B will fall on C and this angle is 90 degree and you are rotating by 90 degree. So the point B falls precisely on the point C. So let me write that in red. So you have this is the point segment AB now. Similarly, the segment AC rotates by 90 degree and we get something like this. This point is C and if we join this to line, it will be BC. So let's join it. Now where is M? Of course, M is closer to B. So M is somewhere here. Let's call it M prime. In fact, let's call this one C prime and this is B prime. And this point is N prime. Notice that A N gets 90 degree rotated and comes to A N prime. Similarly, A M gets 90 degree rotated and comes to A M prime and so on. Okay, so we have actually accomplished our goal. Notice that this is C N. And this is B prime M prime, which is equal to BM. So BM 
and b prime m prime are equal maybe i can shade it like this and of course tn is already there now we have to just check if this is 90 degree which indeed it is because this triangle was isosceles so we have this angle as 45 degree and this angle as 45 degree so this 45 degree gets rotated here so this angle is also 45 degree angle a b prime c prime so we have a right angle here we have a right angle here so a right angle with cn here and bm here so clearly if i join nm prime this length will be n m prime square will be c n prime square c n square plus b prime m prime square but b prime m prime is equal to b m so this is equal to c n square plus b m square okay now c n square plus b m square is also equal to m n square that was the given data now we find it it is equal to n prime n prime square so m n is equal to n prime n prime okay so let's join this again okay now this is a very beautiful problem if we can rotate this triangle one more time let's rotate this triangle one more time let's rotate this triangle one more time and in fact let's do one thing let's rotate abc counterclockwise one time okay so if we do that we will be able to get something like this let's call this point so notice that ab will be rotated 90 degrees so this point is b prime c will be coming here so that's c prime and n will be here so n double prime maybe a n will be here and a m will go 90 degree and come here so m double prime so you can check that n m double prime m n double prime this segment is also equals to m n m n double prime is also equals to m n by the same manner because this is b m this is equal to c n and this is the 90 degree so the square of this equal to some of the squares of this these two which means that m n double prime is equals to m n it's quite beautiful so m n double prime m n and now n m double prime all these three things are equal in fact now i can join this two points and get similarly one point here let me do that a little bit more carefully so like this okay so i'll get a point here i'll get a point here and i can join these two and you will be able to check do that rigorously in the comment tell me how that all of these pieces are equal in length that is nm double prime will be equal to this piece that will be equal to this piece equal to this piece this one this one and that one and so on so we get an octagon whose sides are all equal a regular octagon And that means that each the central angle 
will get divided into eight equal parts. The central angle being 360 degree will be divided into eight equal parts, meaning that each part is 45 degree. So MAN is one such part. MAN is one such part. So that must be 45 degree. So see how beautifully we could do uh, use rotation in the context of this particular problem. Now there is a very nice book by Yaglom called Geometric Transformation. We use it in our Math Olympiad program all the time. In Geometric Transformation, this is volume 1 to 4, there are 4 volumes. They have a lot of problems related to rotation, inversion, translation, all sorts of geometric transformations. So you can check it out. It's probably available online. Uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I will see you in the next one.